Welcome to the Huawei Southern Factory Smart PV demo site. My name is Ethan, and it is my great honor to guide you through the site today. The capacity of the Southern Factory rooftop PV plant is 17.5 megawatt, and it can generate about 17 gigawatt hour of electricity per annum. The demo site shows the distributed PV plant solution and optimal LCOE design for utility PV plant. Now, let's have a tour of the plant together. Huawei String Inverter passed comprehensive reliability tests like highly accelerated life test and temperature humidity bias test, etc. With IP66 high protection level, the inverter can operate stably in various of harsh environments. Here, for example, we can see inverters running under heavy water jets. And some inverters are running in high temperature heating chamber. Huawei inverters were deployed over 118 gigawatts globally, and its annual failure rate is less than 0.4%. Now, let's go to explore the distributed PV plant together. Next, you can see the area of residential scenarios. For residential scenarios, Huawei is committed to bringing three core values to customers. Active safety, high yields, and better experience. The application scenario of distributed PV solution is mainly on the roof of industry and commercial building, or family house so the system safety is critical. Among them, DC arcing caused by loose PV connector or damaged PV cable, etc. is one of the main hidden fire hazard. Arcing can reach a temperature of 3000 degrees Celsius in a short period of time, which can burn the insulation layer of the cable and cause a fire. Meanwhile, the fire caused by this kind of electrical equipment will also put a great risk of electrocution to firefighters. Huawei introduced the AI-powered active arcing protection. By detecting the electrical noise waveform of DC arc and comparing it with that in the database, it can confirm whether DC arc is generated within 2.5 seconds and shut down the system to ensure that the arc is extinguished immediately. AI-powered active arcing protection meets the US UL1699B standard and is industrial leading. At the same time, the application of AI self-learning technology enables the inverter to continuously record and identify new arcing noise waveform during the operation so as to realize the more inverter get used the smarter and safer it become and ensures the high reliability of the PV plant in the lifespan. In the residential scenario with optimizers Huawei AI powered active arcing protection can not only shut down the system but also accurately locate arcing to module level. Therefore, the ONM personnel can get the specific arcing position through the APP without attend to the plant, which saves a lot of effort. Another big challenge faced by distributed PV solution is that the rooftop structure is relatively complex and the external air conditioner, billboard on the roof, and antenna of base station, etc., may shadow the solar panels, thus affecting the yield. We have imitated a house rooftop and installed 24 pieces of PV modules equipped with the Huawei optimizers, which are distributed in the east, west, north, and south sides of the roof. If other system is like ours, the rooftop PV module layout design can make full use of the rooftop area and PV modules with different orientations can be connected into one string. It can ensure that the output current of the PV module will not be affected when it is in the shadow, 
and the yield of other PV modules in the stream will not be affected. Compared with no optimizer, it can reduce the yield loss. The volume of the second generation optimizer is reduced by 50%, which can be held by one hand and one model can match all models of PV module. So the installation is easier. Huawei adopts AI module auto mapping technology, which can automatically generate physical layout of PV modules within 5 seconds, saving 99% deployment time compared with traditional manual process. Huawei's unique patent AC terminal can reduce installation to 30 seconds. Single phase and small three phase inverters are integrated with battery interface supporting easy expansion at any time. In the future, there will be self-developed energy storage system and backup box to ensure the consumer's self-use rate. Next to the residential scenario, there will be a C&I scenario exhibition area in the near future. Please stay tuned. Next, let's go to explore the optimal LCOE scenario of utility PV solution. Now we are in the optimal LCOE scenario for utility PV plant. In order to achieve lower LCOE, the design of 1500 volt stream inverter plus bifacial module plus tracker system is highly recommended. Let's take a look at this site. Two of uh, 175 kilowatt 1500 volts inverters are installed. Each inverter is connected to two streams. Each string has 34 pieces of 310 watt N-type monocrystalline half cut cell bifacial dual glass modules in series. Installed on the single access tracker. The AC cable of the output side of the inverter goes to the transform station in the distribution room. At the same time, MBUS power line communication is transmitting the inverter data to the management system. Two strings of the right-handed side inverter are connected to the same MPPT, and their real-time operating voltage will be identical. Two strings of the left-hand side inverter are connected with one MPPT respectively. So both strings can work at their maximum power point. We conclude that the difference in the number of MPPTs in the array will resu result in the difference in yield. And the stream mismatch of the left-hand side inverter should be lower, therefore having higher yield. Later, we'll go to the management system to check the yield data to confirm the inference. Besides, we can see that the ground condition of the two strings is different if we observe it carefully. The ground of the near string is grass, which often has lower albedo, while the ground on the further away string is cement, which has higher albedo than grass. Therefore, we infer that the power of the near string is lower than the farther one. The stream power comparison in the management system should be able to verify our inference. Last but not least, the single access trackers on site integrates Huawei AI optimized tracking algorithm. According to the on site environment, the optimal tracking angle can be deduced through neutral network learning to increase the yield further. <laughs>